Vigilantes, desperate parents, or both? That's right. Four people face assault charges tonight after a Mount Airy man is beaten with a baseball bat. But they claim they were trying to save a life. ABC 2 News' Jeff Hager explains. On its face, it may have seemed like the work of vigilantes. A young Mount Airy man sent to shock trauma with blunt force trauma to the head after police say these suspects broke into his house and targeted him. Two males and a female forced entry into a home and assaulted uh, the uh, home, well, the person the dwelling in the home uh, with a bat. But Daniel Delmar says it was a desperate act by parents of a young girl who had been introduced by the victim to drugs. Drugs which almost claimed her life just four days earlier. It got as bad as last Wednesday. Uh, the police were the police had tracked them down, had had penned them in a parking lot up at uh, uh, the uh, Comfort Inn in, in Hagerstown. They got my daughter out of the truck with with uh, with the boy she'd been running around with, and uh, they found heroin on them. And uh, in the process of getting ready to to arrest them, my daughter uh, quit breathing. And what had to be resuscitated, she OD there in the parking lot. Delmar, who now faces assault and burglary charges, is the young girl's father. And he, along with the girl's mother, her stepfather, and his girlfriend, say when his daughter refused to come home after the overdose, he made her move out of 23 year old Eric Manley's Mount Airy home to this motel nearby. We finally got him apart on Sunday, and I begged him to please go and stay in Hagerstown with your, with your folks till we get. get her into some type of treatment program, which we had made arrangements for on Monday to get him apart. Delmar claims Manley called Sunday and said his daughter was with him doing drugs and prepared to die, prompting them to drive there for the third time since her overdose. She wasn't there, but he claims Manley threatened them with a knife, and her stepfather hit him with a bat he had picked up inside the home while defending himself. It came down to life and death of your kid. That's it. You know, she's going to live or she's going to die. So that, that was the only reason that what happened happened. It was to save your own child's life. In Carroll County, Jeff Hager, ABC 2 News. Now, the suspects have not seen their daughter since their arrest. The victim was treated and later released from shock trauma the following day.